part two of what to do if you are a beginner on Deep Woken. I'm gonna try to keep this as short and quick as possible. I'll do my best. <laughs> so uh, right now, just on this Wukong build that my son made, it's a pretty fun build, it's not done yet. I'm gonna pull up the map here and I'm gonna draw lines on where we're going. So it'll be a little easier. I'm gonna get us to out of here to the boat and then we'll skip ahead to where we're gonna land. So I'm gonna give you a few options, including if you don't wanna do trial one, I'm gonna show you what you would do if you weren't doing trial one, and then a few options on what to do. So of course, if you finish trial one, this is where you're at. That is the trial one entrance. It of course won't let me in right now, cause we are way too high level. So we're gonna just get out of here and go to the boat. So you're gonna run up here, you're gonna take an immediate left, and these guys are gonna try to attack you. Don't worry about them, just keep running. We're just gonna run up here, and run over here, and then you are gonna just jump down, and there will be a guy here you can purchase a boat from. So right here, you're gonna buy a boat, and now I'm gonna put a picture of the map of where we're going to, and we're gonna sell there, and we're going to skip ahead. <sighs> I'm gonna quickly mention while on this boat ride, after trial of one, some people will tell you to go to the crypt, which is near trial of one. I would not suggest that as a new person. As a new person, those guys are not easy. And if you die in the crypt, you go to the deep automatically. You do not get two deaths, one death, and then you're having to get out of the depths. So I would not suggest going to the crypt. Personally, do it at your own risk. All right, back to cut. All right, so we are in the town of Etrus and we're actually at the inn. And this is another starting place. If you don't pick trial of one, this is the most common place people pick to start, which is Etrus. So I'm gonna show you where to go from here. I'm gonna give you a few tips here in Etrus and then where to go from here, which is also one of the options to go from trial of one. So this is your starting spot, right? What you wanna do right away is you're gonna see sticks along the ground. Pick up a couple of sticks for sure. Just grab some sticks, you're gonna need them. Um, also, if you don't have any money, I'm going to show you how to quick get some quick, easy money. Um, if you're totally new to the game, you're going to have zero money. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over to the middle of the town, this little area right here. You're going to talk to this guy, and he's going to give you some options to get a ring from him. You'll get a gold ring, right? You take the gold ring, and you go to the antiquarium, and you can sell it for some money. All right, now that you sold your ring, you have a little bit of money, you're gonna come to the blacksmith and there's gonna be a guy to talk to right here. Talk to him, tell him you won't turn him in and he'll give you a discount on cloth. Buy three pieces of cloth, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna come here and you're gonna use two of the cloths and two of the, pe the sticks you picked up earlier, hopefully, like I told you, two cloths and two sticks and you're gonna make yourself a glider. You'll need this later, okay? Um, also, while you're here, I would grab a coal. I would grab two pieces of coal and one rock. One coal and one rock makes a flint to start a campfire. And then I would have the other coal on me in case you get an umbral obsidian. You can combine that later with the coal to make a way better flint. Um, with the third piece of cloth, the extra piece of cloth you have, you bring it to the blacksmith here and he'll make you a piece of armor. It's not the best armor for sure. It's starter armor, but it's armor. All right, we've done everything here that we're gonna do. So I would come here, do these few things, and then I'm gonna head to the next place. Also, if you started here, I will still do those few things and we're gonna head to the next spot. I'm gonna show on the map now where we're going next and then we're gonna skip ahead to just be in there. All right, so here we go. All right, if you follow the map, you will be on Lower Eresia, which is where I'm at now. And this is where you would go if you're level one. A level one person would come here and just fight bandits, basically. You're just gonna run around this area and explore, and there'll be little bandits and mudskippers around. You're gonna fight them and kill them to you're basically level six. I'll say around level six, because that's the same level you come out of trial of one at. You come out of trial of one at level six. So just fight bandits around here, mudskippers, until you get to about level six. And then I'm gonna show you what I used to do when I got out of trial of one. Just follow my path. I'm gonna put it in two times speed, and I'm gonna take you to the Sharko Cave. And this is where I used to would go right after I get out of trial of one. So two times speed. All 
All right, if you follow my path, you were here at the Sharko Cave. I used to come here all the time and do this from level six to 10. They do drop some decent stuff. They drop a piece of armor in different colors with different stats. They drop Umbral Obsidian, which you can use with the coal to make a better flint. And they drop Megalodon Hides, which you can use in different recipes, including one to make a better glider. Two Megalodon Hides and two sticks makes a better glider. So I would just come in here, kill these two Sharkos, and then leave out the cave level up a little bit and then come back and just do the same thing again, right? So here's one of them and then the other one is just up here at the top. And then here's the other one. So those are the two I would just kill them over and over again. I would leave the, leave the cave right here, just exit the cave. They can't follow you past this point so you're safe if you get right here. I would just come over here, level up a little bit, go back in, they respawn. So that is one place you can go. Another place I'm about to show you right now. Again, I'm gonna put it in two times speed. Actually, what I'll do is I'll go back to the beginning where I we started and I'll put it in two times speed and I'll show you how to get to the stone golems next. All right, we're back on the beach. I'm gonna show you how to get to the stone golems. It was never my favorite place to go because you would get aggroed a lot of times by multiple of them and there's sharkos there and you get aggroed by a ton of stuff. It was never really my favorite place to level up but my son loved it. He always went there and would level up till 10 or 12 so i'm going to go ahead and show you how to get there also getting there is not the easiest thing maybe other people know easier way to get there but for me it's not the easiest way to get to or easiest place to get to i'm going to two times speed it and here we go Okay, once you're here is basically having to climb all the way to the top and then you go over to the stone golem area. So again, I'm gonna two times speed it. Hopefully you can follow along. Here we go. All right, so we are at the stone golem place. There's stone golems and charcoals all over the place here. To me, this is a little dangerous, especially if you don't know what you're doing, <laughs> but it can be a good place to level up. And I'll show you a way to achieve these golems in case you have trouble with them. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna get one's attention. Let's just say you can't beat these guys regularly. Get one's attention. Now he's following me. Come on over, big boy. What you do is you climb up here and you get him to fall in the water. So he's gonna fall in the water like that. You wait a second till he falls in the water. Once he's in the water, he can't get out. If you go under, the, put him under this log, he's just stuck there. Now you can just smack him away as much as you want. So that's an easy way to beat him. So this is the stone golem area. It's a good place to go. You can be here really till level 12, maybe even a little more. But I'm gonna go back to Etria and I'm gonna show you what I do now, which in my opinion is the fastest and easiest way. So let's cut back to Etria. All right, so we are back at the main town. This is exactly what I would do now. I will do trial of one. I will come here, gather supplies for a glider and the flint. And then I'm going to go straight to the water lock. As you can see, I just drew a line here on where we're going next. So I'm gonna skip ahead to that part and I'll show you how to do this as quickly as possible. I usually can get a max level in about five hours now, and this is how I do it. Trial of one, and then here we go. All right, we are pulling into the water lock. If you've never been in here, this takes you to a whole different area. It's a second map, and it actually has to load in. So I'm just making you aware in case you've never been here, most likely you have, but if you haven't, this takes you to the Song Seeker area, uh, where a, you do a lot of different things here. <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and load in, and I'm gonna show you the new map and exactly where we're going. Now let's cut. All right, so we have loaded into the new map. Here it is right here. And now let me draw you exactly where we're gonna go. And then we're gonna skip ahead to that island. So as you can see, that island is where we're gonna go. And now I'm going to skip ahead. All right, if you follow my instructions, you should be on this island. And we are going to show you the island real quick again, of course. 
I'm going to show you where to go, and now we're going to put that shark glider you made, or the whatever glider you made. We're going to put the glider to use. <laughs> so here we go. Just follow my path. We're going to go up here. Easy. And then you're going to come over here. There's another one of these jumping pads. And finally, we're just going to go up here. And here's the final jumping pad. So here's where you're gonna use your glider. You're just gonna glide across this big gap to that big area over there. And this is where I level up basically from, as soon as I finish trial at one, that area right there, I level up there from level six to, I mean, you can go all the way to 20, honestly. It doesn't even take that long really. But I usually do like six to 15. And then I'll go do Ferryman, Kaido, get Ardor, do Kaido, go do Duke, stuff like that. And you'll finish up your levels. As you can see, there's a sand or a stone golem there, stone knight. There's a stone knight. Every once in a while, you'll see a stone knight here. You might see a sharko here. Um, but there's always a ton of people here, so you can usually get help to beat them. And there's this job board over here. I'm going to show you the job board. Mostly, all you're going to run into is threshers here. So if you can beat a thresher, you're usually pretty good as long as you don't get aggroed by a bunch of them. They're pretty spread out, so it's pretty easy to get one at a time. But you're going to want to come over here, grab every item on this job board, and then just start killing things here. And as you kill things here, we're gonna get attacked here. As you kill things here, you'll complete the job board requirements and you will level up super quickly. So as you do jobs here, there's, and everything you kill here really makes a treasure chest. This is a great place to get enchanted items. Just a great place to get equipment in general. It's a super great spot to level up at. And let me show you one other thing. So again, we came from there. We're gonna go straight this way. And again, you guys may already know about this, but I'm gonna show you for the people that don't. So you're gonna come all the way this way. And I'm gonna show you the teleport fountains. There's basically fountains all over both maps. About, I think there's about 10 fountains in all, maybe a little more than that. There's five fountains out and five fountains in, I believe. So I'm gonna show you the fountain. The only thing you need to know about the fountains is you have to do something called washing your face to use the fountains. If you don't know how to do that, you can look it up or you can ask me and I'll try to create a guide on washing your face. But once you do that, you only have to do it one time and then it's available on all your slots. And to use the fountains, you only have to come to this area one time on your new, on every slot and you'll always be able to use these fountains. So these are the fountains, they teleport you around. And this town here, Aratel, is a great place to set your home point because this is the spot where all the fountains combine. There's five fountains out from here, and there's five fountains around the map, so it'll teleport you back here. So, I think this one is the song, no, this one's to near Duke, to Lower Eurasia. This is Song Seeker. This is where we just came from. This is Isle of Vigils, and I forget what this one is. I'd have to look it up. Um, but this is where I always set my home point. And then I just go back to where we just came from, which is right here and then back that away to level up on the Threshers. Hopefully, I didn't bore you. <laughs> I know it seems like a lot, I talked a lot. I mean, but if you're new, you might find this interesting. That's pretty much it. Let me know if you have other questions in the comments. I'll try to make videos and respond to them. But that's pretty much the way I do it. Uh, so hopefully you liked what you saw here. Hopefully you like my uh, Wukong build that I'm working on. That's it, guys. Peace and love. Good luck on getting to level 20. Don't get void walked on. And if you don't stream, you don't have to get stream sniped at least. <laughs> All right. Bye, people.